The year was 1956 and it was explosive. The U.S. military tested the H-bomb in the Bikini Atoll. A young Elvis Presley burst onto the music scene and in Vancouver, Washington, McLaughlin Junior High School was built. The building was a replacement for the original Mac, which was built for the children of shipyard workers in 1943. Fast forward, more than 70 years later, McLaughlin Middle School is still a place of learning for kids. Hi, I'm Anastasia Michaela, and I'd like to tell you about our school. The Brook Building in McLaughlin Heights is home to a positive and diverse culture that strives to embrace optimism, belonging, and a sense of purpose. Staff use PBIS, a program that rewards positive behavior to build a cohesive student population. Students also participate in AVID, which prepares them for college. MAC is the home of the district's middle school Spanish immersion program. Meanwhile, the school's own basic needs need to be met. The last renovation at MAC was 24 years ago in 1992. It's well over capacity, with a projected enrollment of more than 1,000 students for the 2016-17 school year. It uses portables to hold the overflow. Its hallways are dark, with low ceilings, and in one, there's a missing water fountain because it was broken and can't be fixed. The gym and hallway leak with each rainstorm, putting custodians and maintenance workers to the test. The counselor's office is located in a closet because of a lack of space. In a community symposium, teachers, students, and community members met with architects and district administrators to plan McLaughlin's future. They discussed what they would want and need in a new building and how they would want the building to look and feel. The architects took that information and came back with three concepts. The first concept centers around the feeling of family because for many students, McLaughlin is a home away from home. This concept would feature spaces that are welcoming, comfortable, and would encourage togetherness and interaction. The second concept is about the whole experience of the students' and adults' relationship to the environment. In this vision, the school would combine the natural world with learning and sustainability. The third concept is relative to the greater McLaughlin community and neighborhood. The theme of collaboration and partnership are encouraged in this idea that includes zones for enterprise, instruction, and community. None of the concepts are final designs but the best ideas will be used in the finished building plan. In February of 2017, the Vancouver Public Schools Board will likely ask voters to pass a bond to pay for this new McLaughlin, as well as other replacement school sites. When it's done, the new MAC will stand for the same thing it's always stood for, equity and excellence for all in a school where students can thrive.